Hello dear friends, my name is Salomon and today in this video I will explain you how you can pass the new Chief of the North challenge in Clash of Clans. I will show you two different ways of passing this challenge so you can uh, choose yourself which method you like best. In my opinion the second one is easier but you can choose whatever you like and I will explain you all the important steps of these two methods so you can repeat them. First of all let's check out the new skins that will be be available in the game the first one you can uh, claim from the gold pass and it will be the first reward of the gold pass and the second one will be legendary skin for our queen you see this uh, skin is really interesting King, you see on your uh, screens by the way if you are planning to buy gold pass for the next season or probably any uh, special offers from the shop please don't forget to use my creator boost code it's salamon the same as the name of my channel thanks a lot for your support guys please also don't forget to subscribe my channel and as your support is really needed and highly appreciated thanks a lot again now let's discuss the challenge itself guys you see the layout on your screens i will explain you all the important steps of uh, my first method then show you my life attack then the second method explanation and the second life attack so the challenge was created by clash bashing and i want to say that the challenge is not really easy i mean the challenge is uh, pretty challenging and um, uh, the first method is uh, about the queen charge into the town hall but without healers queen charge without healers using the invisibility spells so the main trick is to take down the town hall with your queen by the way the clan castle here is really tough because uh, the clan castle building is full of goblins and there is no way to lure them out uh, before the attack starts and for that we need to use our valkyrie so the first idea is to take down the town hall you need to um, destroy this gold mine with your super goblin and then send your queen from the bottom of the base right here you uh, send your queen she takes down the first uh, mine then the second one and then we are using the first invisibility spell so we need to reduce the damage uh, on our queen so she can take down all the defenses the enemy queen uh, the town hall and uh, lure out some of the goblins from the clan castle then you just send your king from the left side and uh, it takes down um, all the defenses uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that we need to send uh, two loons from this side uh, you need to uh, send both of them a little bit higher because they will be able to take down this double cannon the next one and switch to the third cannon but they won't take it down so so when your queen takes down the town hall you send your uh, king from uh, the left so your king uh, your uh, battle blimp with two root riders by the way and they start to uh, destroy the defenses also you can add uh, your valkyrie to help killing uh, the goblins um, you should take both uh, mines with your super goblins also so you can funnel your king inside the base in uh, this explanation i don't do all the things correctly because i'm just explaining you explaining you the steps but now i will show you my life attack and you will see everything with your eyes and you will understand how this um, method works okay guys so as i said in the beginning we need to send uh, two loons uh, on the top uh, to take down the double cannon and the next one then we are sending our queen she destroys the mine then switches to the gold mine then to the elixir mine and we use our first invisibility spell try to use your uh, spells just after the previous one uh, goes off because we need to protect our queen as uh, as good as possible so she doesn't um, uh, get too much damage and she's able to take down uh, all the defenses that we need uh, she takes down uh, the grand warden statue and then we're using her ability so we don't use the last invisibility spell as we will need to use it to protect our root riders now uh, the town hall is destroyed we are uh, destroying some more mines to create a funnel for our king then we're sending our king also using the battle blimp uh, it is destroyed um, very quickly with the black mines but it doesn't matter a lot because we need our root riders the battle blimp is uh, doesn't matter for us at all because we just need our root riders to funnel our king through the walls as they destroy uh, the walls very easily also we need to take down the camp uh, on the top because other 
otherwise uh, king will switch to this uh, camp and uh, it will uh, take some time but we need our king to destroy the enemy king and for that we are using uh, the rage spell by the way probably you can use also the invisibility spell here uh, to protect your root riders but if you do that your king will not see the enemy king and um, it will not go down very quickly as uh, we need to protect our root riders the main idea is uh, to protect as much root riders as possible because this way they open the walls but actually here you see that the root rider doesn't have a lot of hp and um, it will go down very quickly because of this double cannon that's why we are opening up uh, the wall for our king with uh, some wall breakers and with this uh, we can take down the last double cannons with our king ability and that's it basically by the way you can uh, save one visibility spell or use it earlier because uh, the protection of uh, the root rider is not working you see here and we are opening the last compartment with the wall breakers now the second method of uh, passing this challenge and in my opinion this method works better uh, by the way i saved uh, one rage spell and one visibility spell i didn't need them and uh, if uh, this challenge and this method is um, feeling difficult for you then you just use the rage spell and the invisibility spell and it will be even easier so the beginning of uh, this method is the same we are sending two loons to take down this double cannon then they're switching to this one uh, then we are taking down uh, this uh, mine and this one uh, also opening up uh, the wall with three wall breakers then we send from the top our valkyrie and then uh, also adding our queen so they together will take down all uh, the goblins from the clan castle also destroy this can and then queen will follow uh, towards the town hall with the one invisibility spell and her ability we are taking down the town hall also killing the enemy queen and the enemy king then we start our main push main attack uh, from this side sending uh, king with uh, two root riders uh, from the battle blimp uh, and also um, some uh, super goblins to clean up uh, the mines on the sides of these walls then when our root riders are coming towards uh, this compartment we need to use um, in the invisibility spells to protect them because the main idea is uh, to protect them against these double cannons so they can follow uh, to the last compartment and open up the walls this is their mission because um, uh, the rest of the defenses will be destroyed by our king with his ability but we need to open uh, the walls with the root riders especially uh, the walls uh, to uh, leave this compartment because this wall we can also destroy with our wall breakers and after your king uses his ability he uh, destroys this uh, double archer tower and that's it guys now i will show you my life attack where you will see all these steps made by me exactly on the right timings okay so uh, in the beginning as i said we are sending two loons and um, we need to send them uh, from the correct position because otherwise they can split you you will test uh, by yourself in the challenge and you will see that sometimes they are splitting towards the regular cannon one loon goes but it, it's not correctly they need to follow together to the second double cannon because uh, otherwise they don't take any of the cannons uh, one loon destroyed by regular archer tower the second one by super archer tower when the double cannon is destroyed we are sending one more super goblin uh, to uh, funnel our king further into the uh, into this compartment with the clan castle building the uh, wall is opened with our wall breakers then we follow up with with one valkyrie and our queen and together they can take down all the goblins and the cannon also uh, destroying one uh, gold mine to create a funnel for our king uh, for the further attack now you see uh, the valkyrie is uh, killing easily all the goblins queen is following her and uh, they are switching to the clan castle building uh, when the clan castle is destroyed we need to use one invisibility spell to protect our queen when she comes towards the town hall using uh, the invisibility spell probably you can use it a little bit later and when the town hall uh, goes down uh, we are also using our queen ability she kills both uh, enemy heroes and we start our attack uh, from the top of the base using one uh, our root rider from the army camp and two root riders from the battle blimp then they just uh, follow uh, these uh, these defenses also our queen is uh, taking some more buildings on the left side uh, our queen uh, sorry our king is uh, following the root riders and that when they are switching to the next compartment we need to use uh, first invisibility spell to protect the root riders because otherwise uh, king will lose a lot of time destroying the walls also using some more super goblins to uh, funnel our king better and uh, using one more invisibility spell to protect the root riders here you can actually use uh, the rage spell but you don't need it 
uh, as well, Root Riders will open the walls, our king will uh, uh, follow them. Now he's switching to the camp, but uh, our pet fox uh, is uh, destroying the camp. So king comes back towards the last compartment. I also opened up the wall with the wall breakers, but actually I didn't need that because Root Riders have created the pathing for our king and with his ability he destroys everything pretty much easily. And now the ending of the attack. We have uh, 30 seconds left. We have uh, two spells not used and it's a three star guys. These were my two methods of uh, pathing this challenge. Please write in the comment section which one did you choose did you uh, tried both of them and uh, thanks a lot for your uh, for your time thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for your subscription and i see you in the next videos it was salamon bye